The buzz of a potential soccer stadium coming to Grand Rapids West Side has a lot of soccer fans excited. Speakeasy Lounge is known as the unofficial soccer bar in Grand Rapids. Yeah, we sat down with one of its partners tonight who hopes that a stadium would mean the return of soccer to West Michigan. News 8's Megan Bunchman has this story. Excitement. I know there's absolutely an appetite for people uh, around here. After months of rumblings that a soccer stadium may soon break ground near downtown Grand Rapids, Speakeasy General Manager Kaylin Skidmore says the confirmation that Grand Action 2.0 is scouting sites has soccer fans buzzing. I know there'll be an awful lot of people here very excited for you know, something in town again to go and cheer for. Speakeasy Lounge is the unofficial soccer bar in Grand Rapids. It served as a home base for fans of Grand Rapids' former developmental team, GRF. FC for seven seasons. However, the team announced its closure last October after struggling with finding a consistent place to play. The pandemic really hurt us because the, the big one is we lost Houseman Field um, with them being GRPS. Even this summer, they were very careful about events being hosted there and, and different things of that nature, which is understandable. But um, we knew moving forward, if we were going to make this work, we needed a marketable home field. While there's no formal plan as of now, Kara Wood with Grand Action 2.0 confirmed to News 8 that a stadium is on its wish list and sites like this one near Pearl and US 131 are on the list of possible locations. The potential stadium would be in walking distance of Speakeasy and Skidmore says it would be a perfect reason to resurrect traditional soccer marches common thing in Europe is to have fans meet at a pub and then kind of like march chanting and waving their flags from the pub to the, to the stadium uh, and so something in walking distance from us would definitely excite our our fan base for sure. That was Megan Bunchman reporting again those plans are preliminary there's no timetable right now our media partners at MI Biz reported that DP Fox Development a DeVos family company has recently purchased some nearby property from that proposed site.